Hello and welcome to Two Minute Drill. I'm Michael Rockman. Today we're talking about Iowa Center Tyler Linderbaum. Right away you have to admire Linderbaum's ability to recover. You can see here against Iowa State he gets off balance but quickly gets back in position and holds up protection wise to allow the QB to escape and pick up yards. Linderbaum is a master of leverage. He pushes up on pursuing defenders and forces them to lose all momentum in their lower half. And even if they do get momentum, Linderbaum has a tremendous anchor to hold up in the passing game. Linderbaum is also tremendous as a move blocker. Watch here against Penn State as he gets outside on the screen pass and starts bulldozing defenders with ease. Even when pulling out for the run, Linderbaum does a tremendous job getting outside and controlling blocks, turning the defender out from the play and helping set up the ball carrier for success. With a 6'3", 290-pound frame, Linderbaum could easily have some issues against larger defenders and needs to add some weight before going to the NFL. As far as on-tape concerns, there aren't many, but Linderbaum does have his aggression used against him at times. And because of that, he can lose control of his sustained block by being pulled off balance and allowing his assignment to get through to the ball carrier. Ironing out this issue should help Linderbaum unlock his potential of being a top-tier center at the next level. There are a few comparisons I've heard for Linderbaum's game, but the one I like most is Carolina Panthers legend Ryan Khalil. Khalil was another undersized center prospect who was highly touted coming out of USC for his tremendous athleticism and polish on the offensive line. With their comparable skill as move blockers and ability to manipulate leverage, Linderbaum has the capability to follow Khalil's path that had two all-pro first-team appearances and five Pro Bowls. Linderbaum is likely best suited for his own blocking team, but has a skill set to handle any scheme with his versatility and pure talent as a blocker. With the athleticism and aggression, there's upside for Linderbaum to become one of the top centers in the NFL in due time. I expect him to be a first round pick come draft day, and wouldn't be surprised if a team decided to choose him in the top half of the round. I know many will call the question selecting a center too early in the draft, but as far as offensive line talents go, it's hard to find a more sure thing in this class than the Iowa product. And that's the two-minute drill.